Hello people and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be previewing Spain's fixture up against Malta. It's a chance for Spain to secure top spot. We're back again here with the match preview. It's the international break. There's going to be previews and reviews for all of Spain's games in the future. Of course, including these two, this international break home to Malta and then of course home to Romania. All the previews, all the reviews, they're all going to be here so stay tuned. There's so much to discuss so without any further ado, let's get into this. So then guys, what's the situation? Well really, even a draw would probably secure top spot for Spain. We're already qualified, but already in a good position, of course. We're in the Euros, we're going to be in that draw, but top spot is what we'll be wanting here. And really, in my opinion, more than, more than top spot, of course, you know I want that, but really what I want to see is a performance, a statement, some clean sheets, some big home wins, some big home wins, really, because... Well, the last international break was a little bit catastrophic. We got two one-all draws in there. In the end, they ended up qualifying us. But, you know, you look at those performances. You look at the way we set up. You look at the players on show. I wasn't impressed. A lot of the Spain fans weren't impressed. And that certainly has to improve this break. We need a reaction. So let's hopefully get that. The positive thing right off the bat is that the squad at this time looks a lot, lot better. You know, we've got sort of the players that we wanted back in there. There wasn't any Morata last time. There wasn't any Alcacer. They're both going to be in the squad this time. We've got some better players in there, in my opinion. I did a video earlier today looking at who should actually be picked in the national team. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, then that'll be the latest video I uploaded on my channel. That's going to be looking at who deserves to be in each position in the national team, looking at all the possible options, taking into account who Morano's picking right now. That's a really good video for, well, to give a bit of context what I talk about in a lot of my previews and I thought it was a correct video to do because there's a lot of well debates going around right now especially in the Spanish campers who should be picked so um yeah I did a video on that but these two home games like I said we need a reaction we've got the squad to do it we need some performances and really we need to assert ourselves again and we need some confidence back going into this Euro 2020 championship if we are actually going to do something this time now then guys on to the details of the game this one's going to be coming to us 8 45 p.m local time that's 7 45 p.m UK time. That's going to be an evening match, of course. Friday evening, it's going to be at the Estadio Ramon de Caranta. That's going to be in Cadiz again. You know, you, you know, guys, Spain, they go around the whole the whole country with the national team. It's great. We get to go to all sorts of cities, all sorts of stadiums. And of course, you know, for the games at Malta and Faroe Islands, we try to go to, well, some of the smaller stadiums, you know, stadiums from teams in the second division. And we're going to be doing that again here. The good thing about this one is, though, it's set to be fully packed. So I'm expecting a solid atmosphere and hopefully they can get behind the, the selection. On Espanola here because we want these points. We really do. We want to assert ourselves, like I said, and also I'm hoping it could be a really good performance too. So exciting stuff there in Cadiz. So if we just zoom in a little bit more on Spain, of course, this should be a pretty comfortable game. Let's not kid ourselves. I think Moreno would also admit that himself when it comes to his press conference. But I think what you need here, like I said, is a performance. We want to be securing top spot. And Moreno also, he'll want two wins out of two. He'll want a bit of the pressure lifted off his lifted off his back. And he'll want some good performances. He'll want some clean sheets in there. And he'll also want a good individual pieces of display from, you know, a lot of the players he's brought in there. Because I think he's going to be changing up the team a lot. I think that in this fixture, he's going to be resting a lot of players. He'll be bringing quite a few new faces in to give them their debuts, give them some more minutes with the national team. And then what I expect is kind of like the Gala eleven to bat it out against Romania on Monday. Monday evening at the Wanda, so you know that's going to be a much bigger stadium. It will be against a Romania side who will likely be challenging to qualify for this Euro, so I'm expecting a really good battle in that game, and I'm looking forward to that one too. But for this game, it's Friday night or on Friday night against Malta, it's what we're going to be focusing on. And what I know, I want to get these these three points here. I want to get this victory in front of the the Cadiz faithful, really, and anyone else from the from the Spanish national team fans who comes down to the Estadio Ramon de Caranza. Lineup wise, as we always say, guys, it's so so difficult to predict, to predict. But I've gone ahead and put something together for you guys. You know, there's 23 players in this squad, and for this game, I think you could go with anyone. It really depends what mindset he picks, and just in general, who on earth is going to play in this game? I think it's really complicated. But I've picked a lineup, and this is what's been going around some of the press, etc. So let's just see what happens in goal. I've put Kepa there. I think he could go for Kepa, but again, I think Paulo Lopez could also certainly get some minutes here. I think this is his chance to play, so do not be surprised to see Paulo Lopez in the goal tomorrow night. Then there's also De Gea. Does he go for De Gea in this game? And then Kepa in the game against Romania. We have to wait and see, but I think Kepa's a safe bet to go for in goal right now. At right back, I reckon he'll go for Navas. That's, of course, saving Cadvajal for the Romania game. Then on the left back, you know... I said in my video earlier on today that I don't agree with the fact that Bernat gets picked at left back 
but I do think he's going to go with Gaia tonight um, or tomorrow night against against uh, Malta. I think it's probably the most reasonable option that he'll pick in the left back spot. And then at centre back, I think he's certainly going to play Ramos in both games. You know, he loves to play every minute with the national team. And also against Sweden, he was suspended, so he'll want to be getting back on the pitch for the Spanish team and with that armband on. I think he's going to be partnered by Paul Torres, who we haven't seen enough of in the national team. He's been all right for Villarreal. Moreno clearly likes him. He's an upcoming Spanish centre back, so it is a chance to see what he's all about there in the defence. Moving on to the midfield now, I think Rodri is certainly going to start there ahead of Busquets. He'll probably play at the Wanda on Monday there. You know, like I said, I think Moreno is certainly going to be saving a lot of the big guns for that game. I think it will include Fabian, though. I think he likes him in that midfield. I'm a massive fan of him, too. And he's kind of, you know, similar to almost Ramos and maybe even Kepa, like an, an all-regular player now that sort of just plays every, every single minute and every game, you know, and ever present in the Spanish side. We'll have to wait and see about that, whether he plays tomorrow night or doesn't. But I think he could include Fabian. And then also Santi Gazzola. I think he's going to get some minutes. He didn't get any minutes last time out, and he hasn't played for us in a while to be honest so I think um, you know playing him playing him in, in this game could be quite a good option and then when we look to the front line I'm not sure whether Morata's going to start but I've put him up there but in all honesty I think in the striker position we could really either see Alcacer or Gerard Moreno as well I think all three of those guys could easily start off, put Morata in there, but I really don't know who he's going to go for. And then on the wings, I've included Dani Olmo and Oya Tabal. These were the two guys that, um, you know, really carried the Spanish national team in the Under-21 tournament in the, in the summer, so they were in and amongst with the likes of Sabayas, with the likes of Fabian. And the positive thing is, to be fair to Morano, is a lot of them are included now. You know, Olmo's in there now, we've got Oya Tabal too, and I'm hoping that both of them start tomorrow night in Cadiz. Moving on now to Malta, well, to be honest, they just aren't a very good side. It really is that simple. They've basically, they've been involved in every single qualifying phase for every single tournament, but they've never actually got in. They're bottom of this group as well. You know, that's even behind sides like Ferro Island. So they're really no way near where they want to be, of course. Um, their manager, Ray Farogia, he's going to be, well... Probably just looking for a damage limitation session here against Spain this time out. You know, that sort of thing they did last time too when they played at home. We only beat them 2-0. Both goals came from Morata that day. And we'll certainly be looking for, you know, a similar sort of story today to try and actually break down a side that, well, could really be here to hopefully, for them, not get battered. If we look at their lineup, that's the thing I've gone ahead and put on screen right now. Um, I, no real point of me going through each position. I know that their striker up front with the number nine shot on there, he's scored a lot of goals. He's their all-time top goal scorer. So, you know, if Malta are going to get anything from this game, maybe the goal is going to be coming from him. But apart from that, the real thing to note is whether he goes for a three-back or, or a four-back. Does Faroji out? Well, you could call it a five-back, I guess. Um, you know, it's not exactly like they're going to be playing much expansive football. But I think Malta... They'll, they'll want to try and get something out of this game, you know, they'll want to try and put on a little bit of a show, but I just don't think they're capable, I think for a lot of the time they're going to be camped in their own half, whether they use a four-back or a five-back probably doesn't matter, um, and at the end of the day I think they'll just try and keep it, at, keep the score as low as possible because they don't want to be getting humiliated, it's not nice for their fans, it's certainly not nice for the coach who's planning the games, so I think as a Malta fan, as anyone associated with, Mal with Malta, you see games like away to Spain, away to Sweden, and you just really don't want anything to do with it, and I think they'll just try and get away from this one, one, unscathed really they are not going to qualify they're rock bottom of this group they're not an impressive side and they're just going to be able to see what they can get here prediction wise i'm going to be going with spain for malta nil i went for five nil in the Faroe islands game and it was four nil in the end so that was a little bit annoying but um well there you go i i just think that if malta can do what Faroe islands did that evening in their molinon and just you know upset us frustrate us make things a little bit difficult make the game very bitty then this could be quite a frustrating game for spain but i honestly think there's going to be a lot of talent on show for spain and also hungry players you know if players like Oyarzabal and olmo are playing in there then this will be a hungry spain side also you know any of the three strikers they really want to prove themselves now and that's a big chance for goals it's a big big chance for goals that's what i will say if you're an attacking player get goals and put yourself in Moreno's mind and say look I'm going to be scoring goals for you up front so get me in there that's what I would do if I was a Spanish attacker and I hope that that's what happens tomorrow night I think that's the way we get something out of this game if we're hungry enough we'll dismantle them really we will if we're on our day and if Malta can't handle it which well they probably won't be able to if we do turn up then this could honestly be double of what I predicted. So this is certainly one that could be an exciting game, but also could be, you know, a victory, I think, but a quite frustrating one at that and, you know, not exactly a spectacle. So could go either way. I've gone 4-0. I think it's a fair scoreline for a game of this quality. I think we've, of course, got the, the better quality on our side. Where, you know, we've got bags of millions there. And, of course, Malta, you know, they're not even, like you know, a regulated nation. They've never been in a tournament, an official one, that is, you know, never been in the Euros, World Cup, etc. Didn't even qualify from the Nations League, so... 
yeah, Malta, not in a good spot nationally. I will certainly be hoping to take them down here. That concludes my preview for tomorrow night's game. Hope you guys are tuning in. And then on Saturday evening, around about that time, I'm going to be doing my match review of it. And then the corresponding Sunday, the Sunday after that, one day after. So kind of, you know, like there'll be double uploads over the weekends, essentially. So Saturday night will be the, the review of this game. And then the preview of the Romania game will be Sunday night. And then there'll be the game, of course, Monday evening. And then Tuesday evening, I'll be doing the review of the Romania game at the Wanda Metropolitano. So I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know any thoughts you have, you know, lineups, who should be playing, predictions, all of that. And I'll see you guys next time. Please do get involved. Keep sharing, keep liking, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.